Mystic. Mystic. Got it. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Or welcome back if you've watched any of my other videos. Thank you so much for being here today. Um, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and clicking on that little bell. It will notify you when I upload new videos. So that would be cool um, because I'm not real steadily... Um, wait, I can't think of the word. One hour later. Consistent. That's the word I'm thinking of. Consistent. I'm not very consistent yet with my schedule. So if you ring the uh, if you ring the bell, then you'll know when my videos go up, and it'll make it easier to find me. So today I'm doing a Juvia's Place palette. They have recently released these little tiny six pan palettes that I love. I think they're great size. I think they would be great for travel. And they released them in different colors. I happen to have the violets palette and of course it's all purple because I love purple it's so pretty and so today we're gonna do a um, one color look with this palette and uh, see how that goes I've used Juvia's Place palettes on my channel lots of times um, I love the formula I like the brand and um, I've used this palette actually several times just not in one of my videos so I can tell you it is very high quality. The colors are very, very pigmented, and um, I've had no issues using the palette at all. So this should, in theory, go really well today. I guess we'll see. If you'd like to know what any of the face products are that I already applied, then please go down and read the description box. I post a lot of stuff there. It takes me a long time to do it. I link things. Um, I leave you a little love note every time I make a video so put on there and check that out okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started like I said I already have all of my face products on and we're gonna get started on the eye look so this shouldn't be a really long video today but we're gonna chat we're gonna hang out and we're gonna go ahead and get started first I'm going to go in with this uh, lavender and it is a matte on a morphe m441 and we're just going to start fluffing that in kind of a rainbow shape in my crease. I do have a primer on right now. I am trying out the, this is just a sample of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. And it says Eden. I'm guessing that is the color. It's a nude matte. It does, it's just a little sample pack. So I can't really show you the bottle. Um, I'm really liking it. And I think it really blocks out all the veins and weird stuff on my eyelids and it does seem to hold onto the eyeshadow pretty well. So that's what's already on my eyelids. We're gonna go ahead and apply this to the crease. I'm using very, very light pressure because as I said, and as you can see, these are very, very pigmented shadows. You're going in with lavender on the first try. It doesn't take a lot of building up. Some people like that, some people do not. I've been enjoying kind of pulling that side out and up a little bit. I've seen it done a lot on YouTube lately. They're calling it the fox eye or the foxy eye when you pull it up and out like this. And then most people will take their eyeliner and also build up your um, tear duct on the inside. I have done that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today. Um, I think I would rather keep it kind of light and airy, kind of a springier look for today. You can build up that lavender color, and again, um, ladies or gentlemen, you do not have to have this particular um, palette to do this look. If you have some lavenders and you wanna gather them up, and even if you have to go in you know, several different palettes, that's cool. Just gather up a matte light purple or lavender, a darker purple to kind of deepen up that crease, and then a really pretty shimmer that you'd like on the lid. You could even use some highlighter if you have it. And then you could also use your highlighter to highlight your brow bone if that's something you like to do in your inner corner. So you do not in any way, shape, or form have to go out and purchase these palettes that I talk about. I just recommend to you which ones I think are really good and worth your money. And these palettes, I wanna say, are only $14. 
I hope that's correct, but it was just on there yesterday and right now they are out of many of these little six pan palettes. They're new, it happens, but I can tell you that Juvia's Place is really good about restocking things, so they'll be back. They also run lots of sales. It'll eventually be back on there because like I said, I only right now, I picked up the purple one just to make sure you know that I liked the one colored palette and um, I have a lot of Juvia's Place palettes because they frequently go on sale and they are already affordable and I love the formula but I picked up this one because it's my favorite purple is my favorite but there are several other ones there's a berries one that I would really like to get and when my daughter saw this one she fell in love with it so I've kind of been stalking their website trying to uh, grab up the berries one and also another one of these violets for my daughter. They will be back. Other companies that I know are doing some past really pretty pastel, smaller eyeshadow palettes would be ColourPop. Although as far as I can see right now because of the um, restrictions, ColourPop is not currently shipping any of their palettes out. I've had an order in since before this all started and it will be shipped out when they're able to go back to work. You may want to try Ulta for some of their palettes because I know they are sold at Ulta and Ulta is shipping materials. So there we've got the lavender, we've got it in the crease side to side. I even like to bring it in a little close to my um, inner corner and brow bone on the inside. That's just something new I've been trying. What do we all think about the colored eyebrow situation? Because I've seen this on such beautiful, beautiful eye looks. I think I'm going to want to try it. What are they using exactly? Is it like a colored mascara? Are they making this themselves? Are there products out there specifically for coloring your eyebrows? I don't know answers to any of those questions. I'm sorry. I should be more knowledgeable about that. But if you know, then you can tell me. We'll drink. And then we'll both know. That's how that works. I'm switching to a smaller brush. It's more dense and it's smaller. This is the Morphe M456. And I'm going to take the darker color. A teeny tiny, oh, just going to tap it in the pan. That's it. Because as I said, they're very pigmented and the darker color can get out of control really, really quick. So we're just going to dip a tiny bit in there. I'm going to use that to deepen up the outer corner and kind of swish it into the crease as well. And then we'll kind of compare both eyes and you can see it adds a, a little more interest, a little more dimension to the eye. If you prefer it without, by all means, leave it out. Your face, your canvas, do what you like. I kind of like it. And again, I kind of pull it out and a little bit up. You can also take it, match it up with your lower lash line. For me, I'm going to do about halfway in with the darker color on my lower lash line and then kind of flick it out and up. And again, that creates kind of that modified cat eye. And if you're not very good at doing winged liner, Yep, that someone is me. It's me. I'm not good at wing liner at all. Practicing with darker eyeshadows. It's a little softer, a little more forgiving. Um, you can blend it out if it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't suit you or you don't like what you did. It's a little more forgiving than the liquid um, liners. So, again, same thing. You can see the difference right away. I deepened up the crease a bit, adds a little more dimension darkened the outer corner of the eye and I also ran it under the uh, onto the lower lash line and I will repeat it on the other eye otherwise it would look a little weird you could do this with a dark blue a navy blue if you don't have a deep purple you could do this with like a wine color would look pretty but you if it ends up something you don't like so what none of us are going anywhere anyway <laughs> You have to laugh or cry at these situations, don't you? Speaking of, if you look at my Instagram, 
probably most of my videos you would think I'm coping pretty well with this whole situation. But honestly, I have my down times too. I've shed a lot of tears worrying about folks and my daughter is one of those what they're now calling essential workers and I worry about her. She has asthma and autoimmune problems. I'm right there with you if you're worrying about your family members, if you're just worried about the world in general. I understand and I hope that the, these videos bring you some laughter and a little bit of relief, let you forget about those for a time. I wish that you were here so that you could help me pick which one of these gorgeous shimmers I'm going to use on my eyeball. This is tough. I kind of want to save the pinky purple one for the inner corner. So that one's covered. But there are still three gorgeous shimmers and I want to use them all. What I'm going to do is take kind of the mid-tone one right down here. And uh, I like to use my finger, so I'm going to do that. But if you like to stick to a brush, a nice flat brush would be really good. Let's see if I have something in here. Something like an M124. See how it's nice and flat and rounded at the top? Those work really well for picking up shimmers and laying them down in the eye. And you want to do a nice patting motion, like I'm going to do with my finger. But honestly, I like the finger. <laughs> that didn't come out right. Okay. I like to use my finger to apply the shimmers to my eye. They are beautiful, metallic looking shimmers. Love it. Disregard my nails. They're like everybody else's right now. Short and um, kind of miserable, but they really work well to apply makeup now. Don't have to worry about poking myself in the eye. I mean, seriously, that color is beautiful. Love it. Juvia's Place. You do metallic shimmers like no one else. Just stunning right off the bat. That's not wetting it, which again is another good way to apply your shimmers if they're not coming out and no fallout. There's no fallout on my cheeks at all using those deep, beautiful colors. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried Juvia's Place yet, give them a try. It is so worth it and so reasonably priced. Now I'm going to take the lighter lavender shimmer um, right up here in this corner if you have the palette. If you don't, any light colored shimmer, of course, is going to work just fine. We all washed our hands before we started touching our face, right? Wash your hands before you start applying makeup. Look at that. I mean, just look at it. It's like a it's like a beam of sunshine. Love it. I'm going to apply that right up to the inner corner on this eye and then drag it back towards the darker color. We will, of course, blend this in better when I'm done. So pretty. Do you do these, especially now? Do an eye look and then you you're like oh man i wish i had some place to wear this you do put it on tiktok put it on youtube put it on instagram i would love it especially if you could tag me if you're doing an an eye look that i'm just taking the smaller of the two brushes i'm sorry i get carried away when i'm talking and i'm just going to blend the crease just a little bit don't do it very hard um, we don't want to mess up all that nice hard work we've already done. Now I am just taking the brush that has no additional product on it. This is the original blending brush that we used. And I'm going to go around the edges and just make sure that's all blended together nicely. Then I want to take a smudge brush. This is a uh, Morphe R43. It's just a very short um, bristled brush that's kind of rounded at the top. Very good for the lower waterline. I'm going to take that. Um, I have purple on everywhere. It's everywhere. I'm going to take that uh, matte lavender that we started with. A little bit of that on the smudger brush and I'm going to run that on the in, uh, inner half of my lower lash line and then blend it in with the darker purple that we've already put down there. 
if you happen to have to make a funny face while doing it. Yes. Yes. I don't know, but I think it helps. I think it helps the uh, makeup go on better. I'm loving the way that this is looking. Of course, I'm in love with a purple eye. But, you know, no, don't want to pat myself on the back or anything, but I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, so let's take our lightest shade. It's kind of a pinky purple shimmer. I'm going to use that for the inner corner. Let's see. We may need to spray it. I don't know. Tap it off a little bit. It stands out nicely because it's a pinky. Uh, it, it leans more pink. But I am just going to take a little bit of setting spray and spray it. See if we get a different, more metallic look from it. I like that better. It's a little shinier. It's a little, it'll catch the light a little better. You don't have to use setting spray though, or primer water. You can just use regular old water. I pick up the shadow and then wet the brush because if you wet the brush and then try to pick up the shadow, it'll still work, but it sometimes can damage the shadow in the pan, adding water to it like that. So I do it the opposite way to make sure that my shadow doesn't get ruined. Okay, so as far as shadow goes, I am very pleased with the way it turned out. I hope you are too at home. And we're going to go ahead and then move to, oh, do I want to put a brow highlight? I think I do. Um, today I used this kit. For my face it is really pretty and it is uh, a collaboration with a youtuber that i absolutely adore and that's um casey holmes there's her beautiful gorgeous face and i used uh all of the face products and i added a little bit of the uh, butter lippy while i was getting ready to moisturize my lips and i love the perfume the perfume is like the beach or summer in a bottle i love it um so i'm gonna take a little bit of this just beachy for my brow bone highlight. It is a very pretty champagne highlight. That's what I'm wearing on my face. Just a little tiny bit so that when you're out in the sun the light catches it and it's so pretty. If there were sun, which I'm pretty convinced that we are never getting sun in Pennsylvania again, it's just going to go straight back into winter. And I hate it. All right, um, next for the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and do a very thin uh, black liner at the top. I just like the way it looks. It makes my lashes look thicker. And uh, I'm not gonna do a wing today, but I do like the way that it looks. This is Physician's Formula Eye Booster, two-in-one lash boosting, eyeliner and serum. Wow, that's a long name. You know, when I have to type these things out in the description box and the name is 45 letters long, irritating okay pick a smaller name all right so I have to get very close to my mirror for this so I apologize if I am out of frame at all and I super apologize for this side because you probably can't see me at all but again I'm just putting a super simple black line It just sometimes seems to have a hard time going over shadows. And uh, I don't need that in my life. I don't need to fight with my eyeliner. It also has one of those little things in it, so you have to shake it. Shake it. Uh, it's a, I think it's a felt tip, so it's a little stiff. Okay, switching to the other eye. It seems to have a hard time going over the um, even on my hand it dries out really super fast come on still have an eye to do here work with me come on eyeliner we may have to switch to one of my other ones sorry about that but I think this one has reached its end of its life so 
So that one's probably gonna go in the trash. I do find there's a difference. There's a difference in eyeliners, uh, obviously. There's also a difference in tips, whether you like the marker style or whether you like a brush. Um, this one I enjoy a lot, and this came from, I think, like Hot Topic. Um, it is their Blackheart Quill Liquid Liner, and it's very simple to use. It has a very nice brush on it, very thin, very precise. Um, yes, you have to dip it back in, but it always has lots of product. And it's simple to use so if you're a beginner or you're just not that like for me my hands shake a lot that one's a really easy one to use and it's affordable I mean Blackheart is an it's an affordable company I've gotten other makeup from Hot Topic before and it didn't turn out as well but that one is really good I like that eyeliner okay now I'm going to tight line my upper waterline. If you don't like to watch this, look away for a second because I'm still going to do it because I think it looks really nice. It, in effect, makes your uh, lash line look much thicker and more bold and... One hour later. And finished. Okay. For the lower, I mean the waterline, uh, I'm going to try to use this Koki Cosmetics Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in Eggplant, but when I was sharpening it earlier, again, it's about at the end of its life as well. It is a gorgeous purple color, so I would repurchase this in a hot second. One hour later. Next, I curl my lashes. Some people don't, so again, this might be a step that you skip. I also use a lash primer. I'm a firm believer in lash primer. For the top lashes, I will be using Benefits Their Real Mascara. This is a sample size or a deluxe size. I love this mascara. It makes my lashes look awesome, which is all I ask for. Doesn't flake, doesn't smudge. Once in a while I blink and get it all over myself, but that's because it has like this medieval torture device of a brush, but it works. It separates the lashes. It makes my lashes look really, really long. They're fluffy, they're long. Isn't that pretty? There's one eye with it and one eye without. The other eye just has the primer. And yes, I curl prime, curl prime, then I put on mascara. I don't know if that's the correct way to do it, but that's the way I've always done it, so that's how I do it. All right, for my lower lashes though, I like to put a little color on the lower lashes. You don't have to do this if you don't like it, but I just started doing this um, a few months ago and I really like the way it looks. And a company that is extremely affordable and has a lot of different colors in their mascara is ColourPop. Their BFF volumizing mascaras, they come in so many beautiful colors. This one's a really pretty lavender. This one is called Purple Pros. So I'm gonna put that just on the lower lash line. and it PS it's just a really good mascara it does come in black and brown um, it's just a really good mascara it lengthens it gives you lots of volume and it does not flake or smudge so those are really good ColourPop another company can't say enough nice things about it they have really good customer service it's a good company so the eyes are done the only thing we have left is to do the lip and for today's lip I've chosen another ColourPop bargain. This is a lippy pencil. They have lippy sticks and lippy pencils. The lippy pencils are your standard um, sharpenable lip liners. This one happens to be in the color Lumiere. I have a lot of these in so many different colors. They have, they have every color of nude you could possibly want. So if you've been struggling finding a nude lip liner, ColourPop has you covered. Go check them out.
And no, this isn't sponsored. They don't know I'm alive. God, I wish. That would be a dream, being sponsored by ColourPop. Um, but I do use a lot of their products and I really like a lot of their products. The next item is not a bargain item. This is not your standard uh, Walmart lipstick. This is by MAC, but I am going to use it because it's one of the only purpley colored lipsticks I have. Um, it is their Dodgy Girl Matte Lipstick. And it even comes, this is a mini, it even comes in a little lavender um, component. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to pop that on. But in reality, you could use any nude lipstick you wanted. It doesn't matter. And I like to put a gloss on, so we're going to do that today. And we're back to Drugstore. This is by All May. It is their Goddess Gloss. These are beautiful. This one has kind of a um, iridescent glitter in it, and it's a purpley lavender color. So pretty. It's called Mystic. I enjoy these glosses. I think I have three different ones now. It has a little tiny doe foot applicator. It has a nice scent. The flavor is not so great, but I don't go around licking my my gloss off. But I know it's gross to talk about, but we do ingest a lot of things that we put on our lip. Um, so it would be great if they all tasted good. That one's it's not horrible, but it definitely smells better than it tastes. Okay, uh, last step for me would be to apply some setting spray. And today I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water. It says you can prep, set, and refresh with this. I love this, especially in warmer weather. It is extremely refreshing. I love the cucumber scent of that. Get my little dollar store fan. Best thing I ever got at the dollar store. You may want to take your sponge, whatever sponge you used. This one happens to be the e.l.f. I think it's their concealer, their camouflage concealer sponge. Been enjoying it. Very, very soft, nice and pointy. For in those eye corners. <laughs> I can't talk today. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> the inner corners of your eyes. There you go. All right. Uh, we made it to the end. Thank you so much for spending that much time with me. I hope it wasn't too long. Um, this is my finished look using the Violets palette by Juvia's Place. Honestly, I think it turned out really pretty. I haven't had any of my looks with this palette turn out badly. Um, it's a beautiful palette and I can't wait until I can get the rest of them. They do sell it in a bundle as well for a little less money. I think that's sold out right now too. The newness of it will pass and like I said, they're very good at uh, restocking their stuff. So just hold on. A sale is coming and I'm positive they'll restock this. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It would make my year. It would make my quarantine. It would make my um, week it would make me smile. All of those things are good things. Just go ahead and do it. Okay. I'm not going to get mad about it. Um, also, click the bell if you want to know when those videos are going up. Because I don't even know right now when they're going up. It's kind of sporadic. I have to be honest. I'm doing my best over here. I hope you had fun. I hope you smiled a little bit. Please come back and see me again. I love you all. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.